Well, hey guys, new month, and you know what that means. The club has gotten a ton of new skincare in. And I'm not just talking like replacing what's already been there. I'm talking new anti-aging finds, maybe some sunscreens I've heard, and a restocking of some favorites from last year. So we're gonna head on in there. Look what's hiding over here. Pearlies Ageless Glow BB Cream SPF 40. Oh gosh, it's got Bakuchiol in it. Now Bakuchiol is an antioxidant. In lab-based studies, there's some evidence showing that it activates some of the same pathways as retinol. There's a clinical study showing that it improves fine lines, but people trying to make it seem as though it's a plant-based version of retinol or a retinol alternative, to me, that is a reach. Um, it's, it's a fine ingredient. Now collagen is a humectant. Vitamin C, looks like this just has some citrus oils, which is such a reach for a claim to vitamin C, in my opinion, because it's so variable. This is a mineral sunscreen, zinc, titanium dioxide, and the tint on this may help you in protecting against visible light that can contribute to hyperpigmentation and deeper skin tones. But this has fragrance in it, which is not my personal preference because it can be irritating to the skin and a lot of people end up becoming allergic to it. But yeah, I wonder how this performs. It's not water resistant. I imagine it will help improve the look of the skin just from a cosmetic perspective, provided the tint works for your skin type. Some of these tinted BB creams, they're kind of on the thick side and they end up being a little chalky. And so on deeper skin tones that can still, that still looks odd, like it doesn't quite go over. And, and like I said, sometimes these can be more on the drying side, but. Um, I'd have to use it to know for sure. Now the collagen, um, I think I mentioned this earlier, collagen and skincare products can act as a humectant and improve moisture retention. LG, AKA marine extracts, very good humectant activity and may have some anti-inflammatory properties. I will have to find out where this lives. Um, it, somebody buried it here in the SK2, which is on sale. No, it's not on sale. Full price, $219.99. You're paying $20 an ounce. I don't know, is it just me? Everything else inflation-wise has gone up, but is SK2 kind of just staying the same price? So now it's seeming less offensively priced. Somebody do a mini mental status on me if I'm saying that SK2 is starting to sound affordable. This is an essence, it's very hydrating, um, but honestly, when I tried it, I was not the least bit impressed with it. And I have since used many other uh, hydrating essences, essence I, <laughs> essences and I, that I've enjoyed, and I've never felt the need to pay the big bucks again for this. It was not the miracle water, in my opinion, for me, not for other people. But it's one that sometimes from time to time I think to myself, I should give that another try just to kind of see like if it's still, if I'm still lukewarm on it. I imagine I would be. But let me know in the comments if, you, if you're if you a fan of SK2. Wow, who remembers when I tried and reviewed this like close to six years ago? It was like all the rage and it's still around. The Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. Uh, this I enjoyed, if I remember correctly. I actually liked it, but it does have fragrance. I found it very hydrating. It has ceramides in it. And what was the other thing in this? Oat kernel extract. Oats are really good for the skin, um, but it does have fragrance. And to me, I remember when I tried this, I liked it, but I was like, I prefer the Hydro Boot, I prefer this, which is here, the extra dry. Here we are, Inflation Station at Costco, and what, what are we looking at? Uh, the Belief two pack, you get two ounces for $28.99. Neutrogena Hydro Boost, two 1.7 ounce jars, ordinarily $29.99, but on sale for $29.99. This is a great value. Ignore the extra dry marketing around this. If you have oily skin, don't fear this. It's very good, nice and lightweight. Uh, but if you have dry skin, if you have combination skin, it's also good. This is honestly one of my absolute 100% favorite facial moisturizers. Here's that Pearlies BB Cream, $28.99. This is back again, the Melon Serum. Cindy Crawford must have a loyal following for her skincare line because it has, it has withstood the test of time. Like I never hear anybody talking about it, but it's always, always around. Um, what else does this have? Iron oxides may help in protecting against visible light that leads to hyperpigmentation. Melon extract, 
Probably hydrating. I don't know. What is the Whoa. Uh move over Olay. Cindy is charging sick ordinarily here at Costco, she's charging $68 for two ounces. Two one ounce bottles. But it's on sale uh for $47.99. This was here last time, and I think we talked about it, the Rock Multi-Correction Lifting Cream. It's not actually going to lift up your neck. That's misleading. The jowls and sag in the lower, lower half of the face, that's all related to age-related change in more than just your skin. And like your bone structure, you get bone resorption, redistribution of fat, um, all of that contributes to the downward migration of volume into the lower, lower half of the face and down in the neck. Um, Porta Hemplo here, and a cream is just not going to correct those things. But this probably is moisturizing. It has shea butter. It has, what else? I was thinking it might have retinol in it because that's kind of what Rock is known for, but I'm not seeing that. I think it's just a moisturizer with antioxidants in it. It's normally $49.99 for the two 2.6 ounce tubes but currently it's on sale for $34.99. Guess who's back? Back again, the Nutrius Brazilian Body Butter Cream. Who remembers when I tried this out last year? I actually ended up liking it. It was not bad. Not good enough for me to repurchase it, but $20 for the two 1.66 ounce jars. It's a pretty rich cream. It has guarana extract, uh, which is a natural source of caffeine. Caffeine is an antioxidant. You know, there's some theoretical, maybe slash hand waving <laughs> around topical caffeine for improving the look of cellulite, but it's kind of a reach. Um, and so it's, you know, you'll commonly find it in things targeting, targeting our backside. But um, oh, long story short, it does have fragrance. The fragrance is not the same as the Brazilian, the, the Sol de Janeiro cream. It's a little different, but I actually ended up liking this one. And the, the fragrance wasn't too bad. It didn't last too long, but it was just like a nice light scent. Then we have the liquid collagen. They always have this here. Um, they have a variety of collagen supplements, which check out my recent video on do collagen supplements actually work, but this one has biotin in it. Uh, you have to be careful with biotin. It can interfere with the accuracy of certain blood tests. Um, and so if you are taking a biotin supplement, you want to stop it um, about a week or so before getting blood work to make sure that it's not messing up the accuracy of like test for your thyroid. Looks like the Olay Advanced Retinol 24 Peptide. Uh, you can get the two jars for $33.99, which is just, you know, I'm laughing internally because if you'll recall from a recent vlog and a short, Olay has this new SPF 30 mineral sunscreen. Great, exciting, wonderful. It has niacinamide in it. I mean, who doesn't? But they're charging, at least at Walgreens, $50. They have lost it. This is actually a good product and this is a good value here and they have the fragrance free one. The peptide may help with moisture retention, hydration, improve skin firmness. That's probably going to lead to a more gratifying instant result whereas the retinol takes some time. With ongoing use though, the retinol can help improve like fine lines, skin firmness, hyperpigmentation. Still have the self tanning duo but it looks like it's on sale for $24.99. That's $10 off. You get the mitt and the two foams. I mentioned this before um, last time we were in here, but sunless tanners, more than safe, 100% recommend using them as opposed to getting a sun tan or going in a tanning bed. The dihydroxyacetone in them, it reacts with the um, proteins in the very top layer of the skin where the cells are already dead, the stratum corneum, and it creates pigments known as melanoidin through the Maillard reaction. And those pigments actually offer a little bit of protection against UVA wavelengths, although they're not a substitute for sunscreen. The only thing with these is if you're going to go to a dermatologist to have your skin checked, you want to lay off of these in advance because they can mess up the appearance of like spots on the skin, as you can imagine. Um, so lay off of these for a while. That way you can get the best bang for your visit if you will, making sure that you get a good skin exam. Likewise, my other tip for going to the dermatologist, don't wear makeup, don't wear nail polish, and try and have your hair down in a loose like ponytail or just completely down. 
so that you get a good scalp exam. Did anybody catch the Met Gala fashion? Um, this one gal's dress, all I could see was these. Harry, this is new. The Harry's three bottles of body wash. What are they going for here with this rock formation? I have no idea. $17.99. Stone, Woodland, Wildlands, and Fig. What, what does stone smell like? Like, who thinks to themselves, I'm walking along a path, I'm just gonna pick up a rock, whiff it, and whip it into a body wash? An invigorating scent of minerals and citrus. Okay, I don't know of any citrus, citrus scented rocks, but. These all have mild surfactants, cocomental propyl betaine. My number one tip with body wash is you don't need that much. Um, a lot of people just go ham with the body wash. You know, it smells good. It's like this positive feedback loop. But one thing that can happen is the body wash can get trapped in the skin folds. You don't rinse it out thoroughly and it can contribute to skin breakdown and irritation. So less is more. Kind of tempted to buy this just to see what the stone smell is like. Costco's got some deals on sunscreens. I always mention this, but with sprays, reasonable option. You just have to make sure that you're doing multiple passes and then you physically go back in and rub it in and that you're not spraying into the wind, that you're actually, you know, in an area where it's not too windy. Um, so they're an option, but you end up getting very few uses out of the can, if you out of the aerosol, if you actually use it as directed. These are $16.99. Water and sweat resistant. So, a, you know, provided you use them correctly, a good option for the beach, the pool, doing sport. These are a chemical sunscreen. They don't leave a cast. They're very fast absorbing, non-greasy. So if you have somebody who hates, you know, is very resistant to the feel of sunscreen, they may prefer this. The Neutrogena sunscreens, you know, they are quite good in terms of the protect, you know, the, they offer good protection. They have Helioplex, which really helps stabilize the avobenzone in them. Um, so you get really good, reliable UV protection, again, provided that you use it correctly. Check out my video on uh, reasons why your sunscreen didn't work. Um, and I, I give a lot of tips and pointers in that video about sunscreen application. They also have here the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch SPF 55 water resistant. This one's nice, it's very lightweight. It does have a fragrance um, to it, which again is not my preference. You get a five ounce and a three ounce for $10.49. Now Banana Boat over here is $12.99 for a spray two sprays and a and an eight ounce bottle now i have to say currently i'm using target's inspired version of banana boats spf lip balm and it has been a favorite i'm wearing it currently highly recommend and it does not have fragrance if you're in the market for a good spf lip balm um i highly recommend that uh anyway now the spray is gonna have low molecular alcohol denatrant which is fine that's what makes it you know feel fast absorbing quick dry non-greasy allow for good evaporation of sweat but some people find it very drying and irritating the cream does not appear to have that um and these both should leave no cast spf 50 water resistant these are great options for outdoor sports but don't just ever don't ever rely on sunscreen alone you want to make sure that if you're outdoors you have a hat sun protective clothing you seek shade and you try and avoid being out in the sun during peak midday when the sun's rays are most intense uh we talked about a paper that came out regarding melatonin gummies being way way off in terms of the actual amount of melatonin in them as opposed to what is labeled on the on the label and i mean the melatonin amounts are super super high um in many gummies or at least the gummies that were tested which unfortunately they did not disclose the brands ah psyllium fiber capsules the majority of people at least in the u.s do not get nearly enough fiber in their diet whole foods, fruits and vegetables. It pays off dividends for your skin to do so because uh, it helps support a healthy gut microbiome, which is key for total body health. And also has a lot of crosstalk with your skin and skin inflammation and skin conditions. I mean, it's an area of active and ongoing research, but it's clear that A, we're not getting enough fiber and that B, fiber is really important for your gut microbiome. Now, these are fiber supplements, but try as best you can to rely on whole foods to get your fiber. I understand some people have 
underlying issues where they can't really do that and so these are helpful focus your diet make sure you're getting at least 25 grams a day at least that being said if you're someone who is very what i like to call fiber penic meaning you you don't get much fiber in your diet i wouldn't go all in at once because it can cause a lot of digestive upset instead start slowly amping up your fiber by just incorporating like more plants fruits vegetables whole grains good for heart health total body health what is an airborne crafted blend of vitamin c now unless you have scurvy the data for taking a vitamin c supplement for like not getting a cold is pretty weak a lot of people ask me about taking vitamin c for the skin now vitamin c ascorbic acid is critical for collagen synthesis however just taking a bunch of vitamin c like a vitamin c supplement it's going to have negligible impact on the vitamin c levels in your skin um, instead it's mostly going to end up in your urine because vitamin c ascorbic acid is water soluble what else does this have magnesium zinc zinc is good for is helpful for wound healing um, if you're low on zinc, you have slow wound healing. I have a video on signs of zinc deficiency. And then I'm also seeing vitamin A here. Now, vitamin A supplements, they can, they can be dangerous. They're fat soluble, so they can be stored in the body. That means that you uh, could potentially get too high vitamin A levels in the body. It can dry out the skin. Ah, antihistamine nasal sprays. You know, seasonal allergies are a big issue. The nice thing about this is that there is no corticosteroid, which um, is common in a lot of nasal sprays. And I mentioned this in here before, but the steroid nasal sprays, they can lead to periorificial dermatitis. Now, the antihistamines can help cut down on runny nose. People who deal with rhinitis, chronic runny nose, like from seasonal allergies, I deal with that. If you do this a lot, you can actually get a little crease right here. It's called the allergic salute. And then of course with like runny, itchy eyes, you can also get allergic, they're called allergic shiners, prominent dark under eye circles. So controlling allergies is, is really important. Now, another recommendation if you have a lot of seasonal allergies and itchy nose um, is the saline nasal sprays. Those are great. Ooh, you guys, we have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz here. You get a two pack brow pencil for, what's the going rate for this? They have it hidden. Oh, $32.99. You know, thinning brows common uh, with age, it's to be expected to a certain extent, but thinning of the lateral aspect of the eyebrows can be a sign of hypothyroidism. And it's also relatively common in people who have atopic dermatitis, aka eczema. Oh wow, you guys, OGX has a three pack here of scrub body wash type things. $13.49. Now these little particulates in these scrubs, they can disrupt the skin barrier, make you more prone to dryness and irritation. Although they may be more of the kind of bead thing that is smoother and deforms more readily on the skin surface. Of course, these all have fragrance, mild surfactant, cocomidal purple betaine. But again, as I mentioned before, you do have to be careful with body washes not getting trapped in the skin folds. It's easier, it's easier than you might think for that to happen. Um, less is more. I have tried their, they have a coffee moisturizing cream, I believe, that I have tried and I thought it was okay. If I remember correctly. It didn't obviously wow me enough to repurchase it or sing the praises of it at any point. And Costco has some deals on the anti the non-sedating antihistamines. 115 Claritin tablets for $30.79. Or you can do Allerclear, same drug, loratadine, 10 milligrams, eight dollars and forty nine cents for how many tablets? 365. That is definitely a much better value 0.023 per tablet as opposed to the name brand is 27 cents per tablet
Well guys, Costco did not disappoint as usual and there was a lot of good stuff in there. On the end slide, I'm gonna link my last Costco Shop With Me video, so make sure you check that one out if you missed it. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.